Kennedy uh, to welcome Superman back to the island. 14th of May, he'll be uh, running 13K for Durrell, all for a good cause. He is preparing for it now, uh, as if you need to. Henry Cavill, good morning. Hello, mate. How you doing? Henry, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I am very well, thanks. Good stuff. Thank you, first of all, for taking the time to speak to us. I appreciate that very much. Uh, when were you last in Jersey? Goodness me, it's a very good question. I, uh, was it... It might have been the Darrell Challenge last year. And when you come back here, does it kind of feel like normality? Jersey does have a, a certain feel to it, which, which does feel like home. It's arriving at Jersey Airport and just smelling the, the salt air again is, is always a sense memory for me and, and one that I enjoy in particular. And the next time you're back, I assume, will be for the Durrell Challenge. It's happening 14th of May. Uh, can you please tell me you're flying straight from somewhere exotic, like a movie set or, or a huge party or something like that? <laughs> it may not be wise to fly from a huge party to <laughs> 13K run, but I will be flying um, from a movie set, yes. Oh, yeah, it's pointless me asking, isn't it? If I say, what's the movie set, Henry? What are you going to say to me? I'm going to say it's impossible to tell you. All right, I'll take that answer. That is what you're back for, then. 13 Ks. You say it's not wise to come from a party. This is the sort of thing you eat for breakfast. You're Superman. Does any prep go into this view at all? Are you straight out of bed, straight into 13 K, and on with the day? How does it work for you? Uh, yeah. Look, mate, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I need to prep for this kind of thing. The problem with being Superman is that you're also heavy. And when you're heavy and you've got hills and you've got 13k to cover, it, it, it's not ideal. So I've been trying to run as much as possible and uh, drop some weight, especially for this. Are you headphones out or are you headphones in when you're running? Headphones in when I'm running by myself, but headphones out when I'm running with someone else. What are you listening to? Oh, mate, I, I, I don't know. It's just a random playlist, and if the song's too slow, I'll just skip it. It's got to be proper running music. What do you consider proper running music? Uh, I don't, you know, I had a friend who wasn't particularly into the band The Prodigy, but it's all he had listened to when he ran. It kind of got him in the mood for that. I thought you might, you know, it might be a similar kind of thing. You've got this running, what's Cavill's running playlist? I, I, if I'm if I'm listening to something like Prodigy, then I'm running way too far. <laughs> yeah, and you don't get, you don't do 13k like that. It, that's a good one for a short distance. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is often a, a you know something people could look, look ahead to and think I'm a little bit nervous about doing this. Uh, why should people get involved with this? It's all about animal conservation. It's 13K with a bunch of people who are all doing it for fun and for a good cause as well. So you're not going to be left in everyone's dust. Everyone's going to be running at their own pace and just enjoying the sights of Jersey at the same time. But it's for animal conservation. It's for Durrell and what Durrell does for taking animals off the endangered species list. What time did you do the running last year? Um, I think it was... No, I, I think it was this. I may be wrong. I think it was... Uh, one hour 26. One hour 20. Are you going to look to improve on that, or do you just turn up on the day and see what you can do? Can you beat one hour 26 this year? If I can, if it looks like I can beat it, I'm going to try. But otherwise, I'm going to enjoy the run myself. I'm running with a large group of people as well. So it's just going to be us enjoying Jersey. A lot of those people have never been to Jersey before, so it's going to be me kind of showing the island off at the same time. And do you know, when you go I don't know if you've done this, it might be something you're into, when you Google Henry Cavill, one of the first things that pops up is Henry Cavill workout. So while we're here, while we're talking about running and exercise, what sort of prep do you do that other people could do? Give us some tips. I would love a little Cavill workout right now that could help people get through this 13K run. Basically, it's just getting yourself used to running. It's getting your joints used to running, your muscles used to running. So just run four times a week for 20 to 30 minutes and do that. And if you're trying to be really clever, then run intervals and run for a minute hard and then a minute slowly for 20 minutes. And that should increase your endurance. But again, one thing I've learned from all the training I've done, if I'm always worried about the 13K looming in the distance, then... I'm not going to enjoy the process up to it, but I'm not going to keep on running afterwards. I think that's an important thing to remember about this 13K as well. Uh, you know, you could walk it if you like. The thing to take away is it's for a good cause. That's, uh, that's what we take out of this. Uh, Henry, look, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Really appreciate that. We look forward to having you back in Jersey as well, and I hope you beat that 1 hour 26. Uh, we w <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> no, we'll, see we'll see what happens. Look, thanks so much. Take good care. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye.